Level up your listening with Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra Earbuds and Headphones with immersive sound and world class noise cancellation for a not so silent night. Visit Bose.com slash Spotify to shop sound that's more than a present. Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. And in this episode, so it's funny because I've talked about stuff like this before where a person will pass away, and usually this person is famous, a lot of people know them. And they're, I don't know, I thought I had seen multiple people do this, but I guess it was just one YouTuber. But um, after the person would pass away, so. For an example, when um, the rapper or musician XXXTentacion, when he passed away, right after that, I was seeing videos of people going up to his um, his like grave sighting and was all like, oh, trying to contact them with the Ouija board or I somehow contacted him through this box, all this other like crazy stuff, right? And there was the YouTuber where I think he was the whole start of it. Like, he's the reason why people are doing this and things. But it is this YouTuber named JayStation. Now, me, I'm so against this stuff because that's what I don't understand about it. Like, billions. I, like, I can't even begin to imagine the number of people that have died, okay? everywhere numerous people so explain to me how some random youtuber with no background history of contacting the dead and then contacting the right person explain to me how you manage to contact xxxtentacion or mac miller or any other famous person that had passed away and so where it all started, I guess, where this guy was, like, uploading cringy videos and things. So, it was right after Logan Paul had did his Suicide Forest video. And I'm pretty sure everybody remembers that video. So, it was right after that, this YouTuber, because everybody was, like, going off on Logan Paul saying, like, it was wrong, you shouldn't have done that. And this guy, instead of him saying that, he decides that he's going to travel to Japan, go to this forest, and then record a video out there. And I remember when that happened, too. I remember when I seen his video, and I'm just like, well, that guy's, yeah, he's just honestly just doing that for views. But then seeing him doing all this other stuff, because, yeah, he tried contacting XXXTentacion after he passed. He tried contacting uh, Mac Miller after he passed. And then it went as far as that he's gotten his fans into doing these types of videos where they're like trying to contact the dad. And one of his fans, right after Kobe Bryant had passed away, they made a video talking about, I contacted Kobe Bryant and he answered. My thing is though, because if I, if I was going to contact somebody, anybody after I pass, why would I contact somebody I don't know? And I could contact somebody that I actually know. I feel like that it would be harder for both parties to talk to each other if we don't even really know each other. Like, that's the stuff where I'm like, man, these people, I don't understand, like, the whole reason, like, people making videos like this. And it's just, it's pointless. It's so stupid. Like, you know you're not, it's like, it's not real. It's not real. But, of course, when kids, when they see these videos, they think that it's real. And the YouTuber that, so this YouTuber like brought it to everybody's attention today. Like he made this big video about him and stuff, J Station. And um, he was, uh, what, what he, I can't, like what he say? Cause I had watched the video, like it was right when I had got home. So plus I did take a nap. I should have rewatched the video before I had did this uh, episode. Dang. There is something that he said. I don't know. I ain't even trying to like go back and click to see like, what exactly he has said and things, but anyways, um, no, moving on, just overall, this YouTuber, he's just a bad person, I wanted to bring that to your guys' attention, don't subscribe to JayStation, 
Like, he's over here getting kids making videos like this and stuff, and it's just overall stupid. It's really stupid. Like, I... I, it's like, I was like, I just thought it was just him, but once when I had watched the video on there saying that the kid did it with Kobe Bryant and things, I'm like, I don't know why people feel like, see, that's why I'm like, after a person passes, like, I don't really like talking about it because I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be that person where I feel like I'm trying to gain views off of them or something like, overall, if I do, if I do make a video about a person, I will just like, I'll just pay my respects. Just like, rest in peace to this person, you know, if anybody's dealing, like, taking this pretty hard, like, contact me, talk to me and stuff. But, um, to overall, like, because I think that was the one guy, he, I, I don't know if it was the same person, but I do remember I, I seen a video a while ago where the guy was like, uh, he got some, like, ghost box and he was talking to um, dead people like after they passed. And then, no, that, so that was another thing that this J Station guy had did. And I was like, bro, you are really, like, desperate for views and stuff. Like, I understand that I barely get any views, but I will never, ever be this desperate for views. Like, if anything's, I'll do, like, videos where people know that it's fake, but will watch it anyways. But, yeah, I'm like, I, that, it's just sad, bro. But anyways, so, he made his girlfriend fake her death. And then, on top of that, made two videos talking about, oh, she died, now I'm contacting her. And then, uh, yeah, was overall pretty much just talking on the phone with her. And, of course, she just had to do some, like, ghost-like voice and things. I'm like, that is sad, bro. That is sad. Like, I don't think this guy has anything to say about all this stuff. I'm gonna look up his YouTube channel. Oh, he made a response. He made it. Why would he? Why would he make a response? Like, then there's this. Uh, I think because no, the um. So the girlfriend that was a part of that video, she ended up um breaking up with uh, J Station, and um yeah, she just pretty much like came out and exposed them and things. I'm like, you man, people weird, bro. People are weird. He really, I, I, yeah, I need to sit down and watch this response. I feel like I should maybe, like, I should watch it now. This would be a first, though, me reacting to a video while I'm doing my podcast. I mean, I gotta find something to do. Let me see what tweets he made. But, yeah, I, I might, I might end up hearing what he, what his response is. But, so far, I'm not seeing if he has a Twitter account. Wait. No, uh, I'm not trying to. I, like, I went to a fan page, but, um. You know what? It's going to be the first. Me reacting, I don't even know if I can possibly do this, but hopefully I can. My phone just went off. Okay, there is it. It was a um shout out to my best friend Priscilla. But um yeah, she was she was that was the text message and things, but anyways. All right, guys. So I'm going to react to a video within my podcast. I think um I don't know. I'll just see what he has to say, but overall probably not going to might not watch the whole video, but anyways. Dang, let, let me just say off the back, like, this dude already has, like, 14,000 dislikes. Dang, I'm, so I got, like, this, um, this, uh, app called, well, he even said, like, how much money he made and stuff off of all the videos, so he has no social media. Okay, fair enough. Just did a dedicated video on me. I don't know any other YouTuber this guy has actually made an entire video dedicated guys so i feel very special big shout out to keemstar for dropping that video man you just promoted like 20 of my videos thank you so much i know you're my number he's one. wow bro that dude he you are cocky he that's somebody that really just doesn't care he he just he does not care like overall all the videos like reminding you guys he's done videos on people after they had passed not while they were alive after they passed like, I, I just don't, and it's like, and the person can't say or do anything about it, so that's where it's like, yeah. I, I would really hope that the family and friends of these uh, people that's been a victim and stuff of this guy, yeah, I, I would hope that they come out and, um, you know, like, do something about it, like, take the videos down, hopefully, but. One fan, bro. So Keemstar just made this brand new hashtag called hashtag stop J 
And to let y'all know that, that that hashtag, it was trending and stuff all over Twitter and things. So, yeah, that's how I seen it. And I was just all like, well, what's going on? Just brought up the same old stuff that everybody just keeps on bringing up. Oh, JayStation did a Ouija board on two people. Basically, Keemstar's upset that I'm profiting off of people's death. But I'm not actually doing that. And I don't even make those kind of videos anymore. In fact, I mean, Keemstar's the one who wants to... Wait, what was his latest video? Well, it's like, okay, you don't make those videos anymore, but your fans, like, like I just said, one of his fans, it's, it's like, you're still promoting this stuff. You still got the videos up. It wasn't like you apologized for this stuff. And then, like I said, you just had, like, there is a fan of yours that had went out and did a video like this, excuse me, on Kobe Bryant. So you're still promoting these videos and... Let me just see his latest videos again, because the latest video, the latest video was him, his response. So, oh yeah, and then he did a video where he bought a slave off the dark web, had the man dressed up like it was 1800 or something, but yeah, that's, come on bro, like, he said ordering... A sonic potion from the dark web or something like that. I bought a new girlfriend off the dark web. So, promoting prostitution. <laughs> you upload this video three days ago. Uh, don't watch Netflix at 3 a.m. And it's, I guess he's never heard the trend Netflix and chill because I, I thought Netflix can chill and can happen at any given time of the night. Like, I don't understand. But uh, we bought a monster off the dark web. And then, uh, then he did a um, video on his uh, ex girlfriend. That he had fake um, her death and things. I'm guessing with that situation though, like why she even came out in the video and exposed him is probably because she wasn't getting paid off of that video and things. And so she was just like, "Oh, well, I'm breaking up with you, yada yada yada." And that's how that whole thing came about. But anyways, calling the evil tooth theory and the tooth theory at the same time, theory. like, bro, I man. He was like a couple of weeks ago. He's like these YouTubers are trying to delete my channel. Then he said he entered in a different world dimension. Then uh, he was like, "We finally unmasked Siri, which is the woman on the iPhones and stuff." Like we all know who she is, bro. Like that's been talked about a while ago. But anyways. Yeah, he, it's just, like, a lot of videos of him, like, oh, we bought this off of the dark web. Like, he did one Grinch, uh, Mrs. Claus, a zombie. Then somebody had did, like, calling my dad boyfriend on FaceTime. So he's, like, he doesn't do those videos anymore. But he has a video uploaded a month ago where he's, or well, oh, it's, a friend, I don't know. It's vi it's a video upload on his channel titled "Calling My Dead Boyfriend on FaceTime at 3 a.m." Challenge actually worked. So, your videos, you're still promoting these videos, bro. You can't sit here and say that oh, I'm not doing these videos. You're still promoting them. So, profit off of people's deaths. There's this YouTuber called Total Biscuit who had cancer, like he was laying on his deathbed, and then Keemstar trash talks this guy on his deathbed and says he can't wait to report on this guy's. Look, you f piece of I've been f watching you for years. I've been a fan of you for years. Out of the blue, you tweet at me, you're not news, and then you f block me? Why? Oh, I've never even f said anything about you at all. Like, now I want to. Now I want to be like, hmm, can't wait to report your death. <laughs> I mean, YouTuber people, huh. oh, that's kind of low, man. That's I all right. So yeah, that's I guess yeah. That's um. That's that's yeah. That's messed up. I like I don't know. Like seeing that, I don't I don't know the backstory behind it. But yeah, I like I yeah. That's that's a little that's a little messed up. That's messed up in things. But anyways, I wouldn't wish death on any one of my enemies. But it seems he's, he's like he wouldn't wish death on any of his enemies. No, you'll just make like two three videos on them saying oh contacting them and then them apologizing or me and them talking and things and squashing the beef after they end died like all right that's it's funny how it's just like i know his videos don't even watch his videos but i just feel like those would be the videos he would upload if his enemies had died Star just can't wait for his enemies 
celebrities to die so he can make a video and make money off of them dying. And just to be clear, I didn't make any money off of those Ouija board videos that I did. In fact, when Etika died, I donated $5,000 to his family, which Keemstar even still trash talk. But you know what's funny about that whole thing? Keemstar is the one who actually killed Etika. He's the actual cause of Etika's death. What? He actually killed a guy. Okay, so for those that don't know who that YouTuber is, uh, Etika. So last year, there's this YouTuber that had committed suicide, sadly. And um, in the video, he was saying, like, I guess, like, I, I don't know, like, so the guy, the Etika guy had uploaded the video before he had passed away. Like, pretty much it was, like, I, I don't know whether it was just, like, his, like, suicide note or his just, like, you know, his final video or what he wanted. But anyways, yeah, he uploaded this video and then um, he had, like, thank Keemstar. I thought they were cool. Like, I think more so, I think the reason why a lot of people would think that they had beefed was because Keemstar didn't, like, like the fact, like, how this dude was acting on, like, the internet and things. Like, this Etika guy, like, and I guess I can understand, like, Etika's situation because from what I heard, like, he suffered from, like, some, like, issues and things. Like, he was suffering from some stuff. So, um, I don't know. Maybe Keemstar didn't fully understand that, but I wouldn't necessarily blame Keemstar on Etika's death. Like, there is a lot going through this man's mind. And he, it wasn't like the the last video he did. It was strictly about Keemstar and stuff. So that's I'm like I'm not I'm not hearing that. I'm not hearing that. I felt like that. Okay, you might have had him on the first one where it's like he wished death on somebody, or he was just like, oh, can't wait to report on your death and things. But with this one, I'm like, no, nah, that's that's a miss, bro. Like you hit the first one, but you missed on this one. Like you can't blame. Uh, and it was like, and then Keemstar, even after he passed, it wasn't like he was doing these, like, he did do a video reporting, um, Etika's death, but he overall wasn't, like, saying anything, I don't remember him saying anything bad, maybe I need to go back and watch the video, but as I recall, like, he just, yeah, he talked about Etika, like, but it wasn't, like, in a bad way or anything, like, he, you know, like, overall, yeah, I think he just was reporting on his death, like, that's what he does, he's a reporter and things, but... about the two other mental breakdowns that Etika had here at Traveler. Why do you fear death? Well, that's what I'm saying. That, that it's, it's, it's scary, because if you really think about it, then why live? Just yeah. jump off a cliff. The world will be better off without me. At least learning from my lesson. Keemstar, <laughs> I wish you the best, my nigga. I mean, damn, we probably would have still had Etika if it wasn't for Keemstar. On top of that... It's, like I said, you can't blame this man's death on like or you can't blame like this guy alone like there's a lot of things that was going on through Etika's mind like I I get like read a little bit about like why Etika did what he did and I like I don't agree with his actions I felt like that he definitely could he definitely could have been here today with us that's no doubt about it and stuff I just don't necessarily agree with the actions that he took but I think they, from what I had read and from what I can say, I can't confirm it, but from what I can say about the whole situation was that he was dealing with a lot of hate on YouTube. Like the hate and all that stuff had got to him. And overall, it was like, I don't blame Keemstar and things because from what it sounds like, it sounds like that these guys was cool, but they just kind of had like a weird relationship and stuff. So I, I don't know. Like, I mean, it, it's funny how he shows the video of Etika because um, the other voice that y'all heard besides mine and besides his was Etika's voice. And he was just all like, uh, like, Keemstar, I hope you do like, um, like, bet or like do your best in things or something like that. But um, yeah. Like, it wasn't like he badmouthed Keemstar or Keemstar badmouthed him or anything. Like, that's just how they talk to each other and stuff. Like, I friends talk to each other like that and things. Like, I don't know how many times me and my friends, we, I don't know. I don't say that type of stuff to my friends now because I just know how serious that subject is with suicide and things. So, that's why I'm like, I don't know. Maybe other people and things. But with me, I'm like, I, I don't really cross that boundary and stuff. But...
restrictions on these YouTubers. This is one of the reasons why YouTube actually made this whole new rule where you can't trash talk people. Look what he did to freaking Fousey too, man. You're making a documentary on it. So you can post it out. Okay, well, Fousey too, just like your videos, he's uploading fake videos for the longest. Those videos wasn't getting any views, so Fousey too went crazy. Okay, now Fousey Tube is doing better, and Keemstar, it's not like Keemstar is still talking about him. Like, I don't know, like, I can't understand because I do have a channel where it kind of like does what Keemstar does. Like, there's times where I will like report on YouTubers and things talk about them and all that stuff but it's stuff where it's like you put that energy you put that oh it's another um text message another friend but anyways um yeah you put that message you put that energy in those videos out there on youtube so what did you what do you expect when you like when you want people to watch those videos and stuff like what, what do you expect, bro? Like, I I don't know. With FoosyTube, I feel like FoosyTube's a bad example and things. Like, I don't know. FoosyTube, it seemed like that he was bringing all this stuff on himself. So, and I think, yeah, he's doing better for himself now. I don't know. I haven't really watched his videos or anything. But, yeah, I'm like, I, um, yeah, FoosyTube. I mean, this is like be prior before even Keemstar. Because, like, my thing is, though. Fousey Tube will come out, and I don't think people realize this about Keemstar. People will come out with these videos first, and then Keemstar will report on it afterwards. It would be different if Keemstar was reporting on this person before they even came out with any videos and things. Then that will be like, okay, like this man is just full on bullying people. But when they're coming out with videos like Fousey Tube, for an example, Fousey Tube was coming out with videos talking about, oh, I'm selling my house, or I'm living with YouTubers, or I'm starting fights with YouTubers, or I'm, I, the way he said he was going to record a song or, with Drake. Drake doesn't even know who he is. Drake doesn't even know who he is. And all this other stuff, like, I'm, my phone's, like, really, I, I think I'm gonna have to, you know, because, no, my phone is blowing up, so. But anyways, like, JayStation, look, your videos, the videos that you promoted is nowhere near the videos that Keemstar promoted. I'm gonna say that right now. I would rather upload the videos that Keemstar does rather than your videos. Like, why would I, I just feel like that that's overall just disrespectful to the like family of these people that passed away because how would you feel if somebody was milking one of your friends or one of your families um like milking them for views making all these different videos like oh contacting J Station's mom or contacting J Station's sister or J Station's uh brother and stuff how would you like if they met, was people was making videos like that because me, I would be like, okay, well, obviously these videos is fake. Like, and they just probably have, like, a um, voice recorder and just changing up the voice a little bit. but Or just, like, using, like, previous footage of them and then just using it for the video and stuff. That's why it's like when I heard, like, with the XXX Tentacion one, and there was just like, oh, contact the XXX Tentacion, you can hear his voice. Some old, like, dumb clickbait and stuff. I was just all like, it's most likely, it's not like this man had, like, never spoke before on youtube or with his music and stuff like they probably yeah just took apart his music because it's for those that don't understand like you it's very easy to gather up like a song and then just make it acapella i've done that myself numerous times and then like silence it out muffle out the beat and then just have it where it's just the um voice recording like yeah i've done that myself there's a program that i use where it makes it sound like you're like some ghost-like figure or something so that stuff is easy to do it's very very easy to do all right but um my phone man but anyways now i'm gonna go ahead in this episode here i'll probably talk more on this tomorrow i waited a little bit too late to record this episode and things my apologies but yeah um thank you guys for uh watching and or listening um yeah we we need to put it to the, i it, like all bad youtubers i mean you know there's there's some worse than others but jay station like come on bro like, you promote these videos, they ain't, like, you even, like, came out and apologized for these videos. I'm gonna probably, like, watch the rest of this video off camera, and I'll probably report the rest of it tomorrow. There might be a part two to this, but let's see where it goes and things. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Like, like and subscribe if you're viewing this on YouTube. Follow or subscribe if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service. 
And if you are purchasing tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMOSBOSS. It will now $20 off your first purchase. And no word yet on the next um, brand that I'm going to be promoting at the end of my um, podcast. So keep you updated. I'll keep you updated. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, we uh, we get somewhere with this. I think I think we I think we're going to be um, getting somewhere. Hopefully, but anyways, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. And peace.